Floaters in the field of vision is a fairly common complaint that many patients suffer from. And uh, it becomes imperative for us to examine the eye completely to differentiate between the benign floaters, or which will normally present in every eye, and floaters that give you uh, an indication of uh, underlying pathology in the eye. Complaint of floaters in front of eyes is frequently met with in our practice. And it becomes imperative for uh, an eye surgeon to do a complete eye examination to rule out if there is any underlying pathology. And the floaters can be simply benign or normally present in eyes. And in order to differentiate them from floaters which are caused by underlying pathology, an indirect ophthalmoscopy uh, plus 90D examination of uh, the central retina are two of the important things. Now when I talk of uh, benign floaters, all of us have uh, experienced this in our childhood when you close your eyes in sunlight against a back background of red, you will find dark threads, spring uh, like objects or comma like structures moving up and down and we used to play with them. These floaters are also seen uh, if you have uh, a monotonous background of white, grey or blue and you have light coming from one side and not coming from front and then you'll see that in the background colored black, light colored background there will be black objects moving up and down the shape can be comma, spiral, a spring or just a simple thread. Now when is it that uh, they become worrisome? Situations where there is a sudden increase in number of floaters, sudden increase in size of floaters, flashes of light, lightning streaks or a veil coming in front of the eyes are the situations which warrant an immediate examination by an eye surgeon. Presence of floaters as we just discussed can be a normal process or it can be a part of a degenerative process, an age related process or it can be because of certain pathologies which involve the posterior segment of the eye which means vitreous and the retina. The danger signs have been explained to you all. Now it becomes imperative that you have a regular follow up and a complete eye examination with dilatation of pupils and indirect of thalmoscopy in order to determine whether those floaters are have any uh, underlying pathological significance or not. There are times when these floaters can be disturbing in your day to day activity and at that time all you have to do is change your gaze to the other side because the floaters are going to move away from your visual field and you can continue doing your normal activity. The question arises that if I, you have got floaters, what is to be done? Now in case of benign floaters, all you have to do is follow up with the doctor regularly. And in case there is an underlying pathology, your eye surgeon is going to direct you to a specific kind of treatment and make sure that you have a regular eye checkup if you are a diabetic because diabetics normally will have all these retinal pathologies at an early age.